Hello, welcome to another Hey Arnold vlog. Today we're talking about new teacher. In this one, Arnold's class gets a new teacher. The new one they get is this guy called Mr. Simmons, and he is the nicest teacher ever. He has everyone sit in a circle, share their feelings, but for whatever reason, the kids don't want that and decide they want to get rid of these, the new teacher. So they're complete jerks to him, mess around with him, although he surprisingly stays very calm and above it all. And then Harold eats his, his lunch, and he loses it, and he quits. And then they hire a new teacher who's this no, tough nails, no-nonsense teacher that for some reason reminds me of Mr. T. And he's, like, militaristic, and he's making the children's lives miserable. And then they feel bad and realize, we had a good thing, we need to get it back. So they show Mr. Simmons, you know, that they really are sorry for what they did, and they care about him, and they want to learn from him. And then they're able to drive the militaristic teacher out by just asking him an incessant amount of questions. And then Mr. Simmons is our teacher. And, again, I think this that was a really good episode. I mean, I again, I, re I remember seeing him in Hey Arnold because, again, like, I'm not going into the show completely blind. I did see a couple episodes when I was little, but it wasn't like I actively sought it out. I was more just like it would be on TV. I'd watch a bit of it. Like, I didn't actively seek it out the way I did other shows growing up, like Teen Titans, Samurai Jack. Like, again, I was more of a Cartoon Network kid growing up, but the episodes of Harold I did catch on TV, I do remember Mr. Simmons being in them. But overall, I enjoyed this episode. I like Mr. Simmons as a character. I, you know, it was a very surprising episode in that it took directions I didn't think it would take. Like, I like how when the kids are doing the classic tricks, like switching names, dropping pencil, coughing, like he's completely above it. Like he's completely prepared for it. Like, when the kids are being mean, I thought he was just going to snap and be mean for a bit, and the kids are going to help him calm down, but instead he just quits. I thought that was good. It was... I enjoy Mr. Goose and his crazy drill sergeant attitude. That was hilarious. Sit down! Stand up! I'm going to have this guy's in the tip job shape! And it was really sweet seeing all the kids make it up to Mr. Simmons with Harold eating the sandwich, them sharing their poetry, and showing that, hey, they did let, his teaching did have an impact on them. And again, seeing the children break down the sergeant by ask, simply asking questions was hilarious, and how the final nail in the coffin comes from the principal, who... We see a lot of the principal this season, at least, again, from the few episodes I've seen before starting up the vlogs but yeah i love how the principal's question is the one that breaks him this episode is a number one where i could personally relate to it particularly in middle school because here i mean the thing about mr simmons is that mr simmons is the kind of teacher you want he's the nice teacher he's friendly he has everyone sit in a circle he wants to get to know the class he's you're not just students to him and um, you know he takes the class on field trips and doesn't have tests. It's like, you, this is the nice teacher you want and rather than be grateful that you don't have that no-nonsense teacher that you're, they're just making his life miserable. And it kind of bugged me. It's like, come on, you want this teacher. Come on, Arnold. I mean, they're outside of like one look of sympathy. Arnold really... Really, you're not going to be the voice of reason, the voice of let's stick up for Mr. Simmons. You stick up for Eugene, but you don't stick up for the teacher. You know, this is very real for me. I mean, again, when I was in middle school, like, I had a lot of teachers that were nice, trying their best to learn the class. Okay, maybe middle school is a bad example, but the point is, is that there were teachers that were genuinely nice, genuinely wanted to teach us, and were generally not being that hard on us. And all my a lot of my classmates just were being rowdy, rude, disrespectful, just making the teachers' lives a lot harder than it should be. And it was kind of frustrating for me because I'm like, you know, I want to learn. Stop talking. I want to watch the video on earthquakes. And I mean, I got better in high school because I got because I started taking. I took a lot of honors and AP courses, so I kind of didn't have to deal with the jerky kids as much. And I was there with people who shared my passion and interest in learning, and it also helped that my teachers were passionate about what they did, and 
or they were just so no nonsense that if there were any jerks in my class, they shut, were quiet and didn't listen. But yeah, it's like, seriously, kids, why would you throw Mr. Simmons away? There was one time, though, when my class came in handy, because when I was in eighth grade, our Spanish teacher, I forget, but for whatever reason, she left. So for a month, we had the sub filling, and we have like this sub teacher that's basically there to step in whenever we need a sub. And he was there for the first month until we got someone. And then we got this teacher, and she was there for maybe less than a month before she broke down, like she couldn't handle us the the work was too much the kids were too much so she left then we had this other spanish teacher and she was complete horrible she was just very strict very disciplined not very bright not very informative and we, we were stuck with her for a while and then eventually she just quit she just didn't give any notice she just stopped showing up for days and it turns out she was getting fed up with my jerky class. And then the third teacher we got was actually pretty nice. And that was the one time I was grateful for my class because they weeded out the bad teachers and got us to a good Spanish teacher. And I was like, yay! And it was also just kind of, again, at the time it was like just really hectic. But looking back, it's just some really juicy drama. And it was also amusing because the principal had to keep coming into our class and giving us the if the shoe fits, wear it, and you know, you get one good chance to make a first impression. And, and, you know, it was fine the first time, but by the third time, he's there introducing the new Spanish teacher, and he's giving this, you, you only have one chance to make a first... It's like redundant. It's like in a cartoon where when a character repeats stuff, and it just sounds like a broken record. So, yeah, I could completely relate to this episode. Again, nothing really bugged me. It did... Um, Mr. Simmons seems like a bit of a one-off character, like, I can't, like, kind of like Eugene, I can't see a, you doing too many episodes revolving around this character. I can see him in small doses, but I can't see you do entire episodes about Mr. Simmons, but we'll see. Again, couple plot holes, as I mentioned before, it did seem a little odd that the children would be against Mr. Simmons. Although he does represent, like, Although his teaching style is one that's pretty common now. Like, when I was in high school and in college, like, when I was in high school, like, a lot of the courses I took, like, you did have those round... Particularly when I was in the honors and APs, like, the round desk thing was really preferred. It was more personal, and it also happened when I was in college. I went to a small liberal arts college, and a lot of times, you know, the desks, like, every... We were in a circle. It was very discussion-based. It wasn't very lecture-based. The teachers really got to know my class. And if it was a really nice day out and the teacher didn't need the computer or overhead for anything, we'd have class outside, and that was beautiful. And, yeah, overall, that was a really enjoyable episode. Don't know if it's one of my favorites, but it's definitely a good introduction to what I'm going to assume is a reoccurring character. And... That's all I have to say on this episode. I'm going to cut this short because as like the last one, I have stuff I need to take care of. So I'm just going to leave it off here and I'm just going to leave you the question. Have you had teachers like Mr. Simmons? Have you had teachers like Mr. Goose? Have you had classmates like Arnold who are just being really rowdy and disruptive to perfectly nice teachers? Please let me know. And also, what do you think of Mr. Simmons? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Until then, take care.